Richmond Icon um, position in the cultural heartland of Melbourne is really a, an example of old versus new, a development so close to CBD in Melbourne and it really does depict what's actually happening all around Melbourne at the moment, paying respect to the history but also an eye to the future. Given the, the nature of the Dimmies clock tower and, and, and the public perception of the, the Dimmies building, we took on board that it would be a collaborative process with council and, and stakeholders. We, we were treating the building as an icon and also trying to create something that was sympathetic and in itself an icon. We've got 15 heritage lofts all around the building um, and they're in the old, old part, the historical part of, the, uh, of Dimmies. And then we've got 70 um, apartments in the tower. I guess one of my favourite parts of this building is, is the merging of the old with the new, which I find particularly um, of note in, in the loft spaces. Each direction has got an amazing aspect. Uh, some of them are looking out to the, to the city skyline, others are looking out towards um, the botanical gardens and towards the Yarra. Straight down the Bridge Road for shopping, um, Church Street, Chapel Street, everything Melbourne has to offer. I can't uh, remember a development that has this much open area being so close to uh, the city. The three words which best describes which an icon are luxurious, spacious and opportunity. I'm hoping that in 50 years time you'll look back and, and go, well that's just a really nice, simple, modernist building.